All right, man, let's get this show started. What up, people? What's good? Salute. Good evening. Y'all already know what this is, man. This is Battle Rap. Appreciate everybody chiming in tonight. We live streaming from our YouTube channel. KB, I see you out there. Salute. Let me know if y'all can hear me. Good. Am I clear? I'm not sure if y'all can hear me, but we are live streaming tonight. Chopping it up. Breaking news. Coming out of Queen of the Ring, yo. I don't really want to say what I want to say tonight. I'm going to keep it a buck because it's something I really do want to say. I want to save it for the podcast, but Queen of the Ring. They let the they let one off tonight. I'm not even gonna hold you. We're gonna talk about their announcement. Big time battle by Queen in the Ring. Panel is open. Link is um, pinned to the top. If you guys want to come up, talk your shit about tonight's topics. Before we get off into the first topic, I guess let's get off into the most important news. According to CBC Nova Scotia News, earlier today, they had reported that Halifax police have in custody a 31-year-old who was in uh, relation to Pat Stay's homicide. I believe he was locked up today. They didn't really break down any type of details or stuff like that. Rest in peace to Pat Stay. Man, what a loss. What a loss. Just as a fan, you know, you watch watch that guy grow from just being on King of the Dot to, you know, just evolving with the battles and just his personality. Man, he was one of those ones, man. One of those ones, man. Definitely rest in peace to Pat. I believe, according to the reports, his funeral is going to be tomorrow. So kind of rough man but he was one of my favorites past day was definitely one of my favorites but they did report that they did have someone in custody that may have been involved in this situation so rest in peace so much to pat stay i hope this thing play out well in court shit is real out here so everybody be safe now Hit that like button for the kid, man. Let's get this video going because Queen of the Ring is starting some trouble tonight. Chrome 23, where y'all at? Remy, where y'all at? I knew this was going to happen. And I know what people are going to say, y'all. You putting leagues up against each other already. You trying to divide female battle rap already. It's not even that. People were so hyped that Remy Ma and the Chrome 23 was going to take over female battle rap. Had some dope events. But what's going on? I know Remy has been busy doing a lot of other things. So I get that part. But when you have that type of momentum, you got to find some way, somehow, to still be busy. You always going to be relevant, but you got to stay busy. Queen of the Ring had that problem. But look what we have here. Shuni the Rapper. Fettuccine 20. Versus Lady Caution and Tay Rock. It's prom night going down in October. I believe in Carolina. Maybe that would have... well. It could have been a lot of reevaluating. KV, you might be right. It could have been some reevaluating after the last event because there was hella technical difficulties. But you could have had little small events like recruiting talent too. You know, not you know, on some we go hard, she go hard level. Remy could have put some cars together somewhere, anywhere, you know, just for the purposes of you know getting some content out there. Because, you know, it's not really no blogs. There's no meat. There's nothing really going on or being talked about when it comes to that platform. And when you had that momentum 
And when people felt like you would be the one that's going to take this over, I don't know. I feel like, honestly, they dropping the ball. I'm not sure what was going on with Queen of the Ring because it seemed like the, the league owners was everybody was doing their own thing, kind of going, you know, making some other moves, which was good. But female battle rap just been kind of up for grabs. You know, URL has done a real good job of uh, bringing the girls in and putting them in some good situations that's built their profile up. But this right here, this battle right here could change this whole shit way back around. Put Queen of the Ring right back in number one. Like, that, just, just in the snap of a finger, bro. I didn't see this one coming, y'all. Fetty and Shuni, they do this. They've done this. They battled each other when they counted, too, on cam. They are seasoned, and they are probably ready to rock and roll. Tay Rock and Lady Caution? See, they haven't had their chance. And look how tight they have been for the last couple of years. So you know they've been, you know, practicing and sparring and all that. They ain't had their chance yet. Every time Rock do a two-on-two, Tay Rock, his team performances be off the charts this battle right here crazy crazy queen of the ring prom night tay rock and lady caution versus shuni and fatty to headline this thing now what is the rest of the card going to look like is this an end agenda card Male versus female. Is it going to be all two-on-two -two battles? It's prom night, so I'm assuming this is guy versus girl. I'm assuming, but this is 2022. Who knows what we're going to get like shit. But this right here. Because they're going to do it right. They're going to do it right. They're going to do it right. We don't have technical problems and stuff out of Queen of the Ring when they really, when they execute. When Queen of the Ring execute, they execute. They do this shit in the gym. They can do this shit on stage. They can do this shit outside. Queen of the Ring and took their shit on the road. Remember when they went to California with their shit? When we first started to see RX and, and, uh, MBD Black Diamond, that's so finesse. When they battled the Queen of the Ring girls on the East. This could really put Queen of the Ring back in position. And I hate to try to be on some divide and conquer shit, but Remy took the momentum at the beginning of the year. Remy had the momentum before she even did the first event. Chrome 23 going to save female battle rap. That was the narrative. That was the storyline. Everybody going to come out for this one, yo. Everybody going to come out for this one. And, 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 and quiet as kept, people. I've always wanted Rock and Fetty to battle each other. Those are two of my favorite artists, but I felt like it would, you know, never happen just for politics and shit like that. But KB, I don't is 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 Chrome twenty three in a and it's a young league right now, so I'm not really throwing no shade on Chrome twenty three because they still got a lot to learn as a platform. But do you think they would have been even thought about putting this, this type of situation together? I think Remy could have booked Rock. I think Remy could have got it done, but are they as are they creative enough over there right now to, to even come up with this type of situation? This gonna be nasty, bro. You know how some two on twos you want to see the battle the two, the teams go back and forth. You don't want to see a, you don't want to see them really like do round and then your partner get another round or half a round. You don't really want to see that. 
But with these opponents, yo, I'm going to take it either way it go. I've been wanting to see Fetty and Rock. Shooting and caution? What? Bro. Sick. I'm fucking with that one off the top, y'all. I'm not even going to hold you. Chrome 23 going to have to do something. They're going to have to do something. Remy had the momentum, bro. And of course, you know, she had to go back to the gang tapes at the, you know, the technical difficulties. But those technical difficulties could should have been, and she been, she been busy. We seen Remy doing her thing, but that's no excuse. This is what you signed up for. When have we seen or heard anything or talked about Chrome 23? When the last time? It's been months. Why? Queen of the Ring got a chance to get this shit back, boy. What? Let's go. Let's fucking go. See, I like, I, I, I like, I like what Remy and Chrome got going on with their potential. But I love the originals, boy. I love the expendables, boy. Some people, some some things you just can't count out. Y'all know how many of y'all count out Queen of the Ring? All criticism that Queen of the Ring get, I'm not, I'm not trying to defend it all because they definitely ain't been as consistent as. They probably want to be, and we want them to be. We ain't going to have no mic problems and no shit like that out of no Queen of the Ring events. All they got to do is make the fucking match. They just got to book the battles. That's all Queen of the Ring got to do. Artists do not come play on their platform. It don't matter who. They like, he, he done been on Queen of the Ring. He ain't play. Rock done been on Queen of the Ring. He ain't play. Twerk. DNA. K Shine. I mean, we done had some of the best be on Queen of the Ring and do not play. So all they got to do is actually book the fucking battles. And ladies and gentlemen, this one, I don't care what y'all say. I know motherfuckers is out there like, yes, that divided caucus shit. No, Chrome 23 is young. They got a lot, they still got a long way to go. But they was the savior to everybody at the beginning of the year. Queen of the Ring was fell off and there was no more Queen of the Ring and all that type of time. Now look. This was a creative move though, KB. Because we ain't get to see Tay Rock and Lady Caution yet, man. They probably been itching to do this right here, yo. Let's be real. They probably been waiting. Like, who the hell can we ever get a chance to battle? Because I don't think URL is looking in that in that direction. When URL do two on two net coming up, that's gonna be probably double impact. I don't think they're gonna be thinking into gender. And if they are, I don't think they would use rock. You know, we got gun titles, so. I like this, man. I'm glad Tay Rock took it. I'm glad Lady Caution took it. I'm glad Fetty and Shuni took it. I can't wait for the predictions, though. That's what I'm waiting for. This battle going down next month. Rest of the card should be crazy. It should be. The good thing that we do know is Queen of the Ring has an event. <laughs> That's 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 the great thing. Like, I, that's all we need. We always complaining because they don't really produce anything. But we got something now. 
I know the rest of the car going to be crazy. I do want to know, though, man, what is we going to do with Chrome 23? When are we going to get, you know, some of these younger girls? Like, we need a smaller division. When are we going to have to get some? We need a smaller division. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they should be having battles. Shit, they should have their own media situation. Like, Chrome 23 it got too much potential to be so quiet right now for months. So hopefully this will wake up Remy and them and, and you know, we can get this shit popping, yo, because this was one of those ones that I do uh, anticipate seeing. Going down next month, October 29th. See, I need some caffeine shit. I need some free shit. I'm so fucking, I'm spoiled, yo. I want to watch this battle free live on caffeine. God damn it. Won't caffeine do some deals with some of these other leagues? Shit, I'm sick of this. Got a crazy card going down tomorrow in Delaware. Briz Rothstein is actually hosting this card. The Hateful Eight, Shice Raw, Shayna Ashley, headlining this. Salute to female battle rap. Both of these girls are actually retiring this year. I don't know if y'all been following or if y'all fans of Shayna Ashley and Shice Raw, but according to them, this is going to be both of their last, uh, this year is going to be their last year battling. Two legends, bro. This is this is a well-respected battle. I'm glad this is happening. A little bit underrated, you know. Shayna Ashley is a legend in, in from the BX when we come to this battle rap shit. Shice Raw is a Philly legend. Yo. What up, G? What's good with you, man? Long time no speak, man. How you been, man? Regular rotation, man. You know how I'm doing, man. What's good with you? Yeah, I see you in those, man. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to, you know, I, I see y'all. What you think about this card going down tomorrow, man? If you see it on the screen, man, it's a couple fire little battles. Saga and D.I. the Henny Man tomorrow. Stampede. Roller. Kaboom is battling. Any of these shit stand out? I seen Henny Man talking about him and Saga battle. That's the only one I knew about. I didn't even know it was a car going down tomorrow. Yeah, this going down in Delaware. I think, like I said, Briz is supposed to be hosting. I've been doing my snooping around trying to figure out what's going, what's up with some of madness, man. What's the hold up? And I forgot about that. I don't mm. know why, but what you what you wait for more more announcements? They said that. All right, so they say it's three more battles. Okay, so you got the people excited. You got it sold out with the three you announced. What is the other three? And I heard, oh, and I heard something crazy last night. What's that? You heard, you heard Surf got stumbles off of, uh, because, you know, Surf, I mean, stumbles and Kid Slade was supposed to open up Summer Madness, right? You know, because they always got the little, you know, the, they try to, you know, display the young talent in the league or whatever. The new talent, I'll say new talent, not young talent. But Surf was like, he don't want that nigga on his card. He was mm. like, what? he don't want Stumbles opening up for him. Stumbles and Kid Slade canceled. Not happening. Wow. <laughs> 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 Yo. Not Man. happening. Surf, the surf made a boss call. He said, I don't want that nigga on my car. I don't want him opening up for me. You think URL would do that? They did that. <laughs> Ain't no URL would. They did that. Ain't no stuff was on some of them. I, but thank you, surf. 
Let's clap it up for sir. Thank you, sir. I ain't want to see stumbles no more anyway. Really? No. What? Bro, you're bugging. Yo, stumbles is a is a solid performer, yo. I'm not what? rocking with it. I, I, it's do not pass go. You see, lately, URL been trying to throw some shaky people on us, bro. Like, I, 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 I we got to restore order on URL, man. I don't, I don't like how they move and throw Throw the good talent on us. Do you see they don't even moving right with their superstars? You see how they you see how they treating the Ab and Rum Nitty? They not treating them right. So hold up, KB. You ain't been satisfied with the URL this year? I don't I'm not satisfied with how they treating some of their stars. I don't think they moving right with some of their stars and they giving some you see how they pushing. There's no way Lou Castro should have got a gnome and a summer madness before Danny Myers. Why not? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What criteria are you going off of by saying that? Lewis bottom five. You talking about wins and losses, records this bottom, year? Bottom five in everything. No bars, all performance, and a lot of noise. And he got on the gnome and a summer madness before. A certified it's certified legends that haven't had a gnome and a summer madness yet. Bill Collector ain't even been on the gnome and the summer madness yet. Hmm. Like you know, it's people that really been putting in that pain, putting in that work that really, really deserve that spot. And I see URL giving spots to people that, like, I never. Why was Stumble, Stumbles just headlined a card of this? Like Stumbles ain't put in enough work to be fighting Snake Eyes at an event and creating a buzz off of that. Uh, another person name is not worth you. Opening up a summer madness. Stumbled. That's true, but he beat the, but he beat the he won the battle though. I mean, I feel like I thought Stumbles was gonna be like a gimmick. They trying to really, really make him a thing thing like because he is. That's you you that's you still stuck on that. Like I'm, he's 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 for real. Like I think you fired. think that he gotta be you got you gotta be fired to me. Like he he had that one, he had a crazy first round against Real Sick. I feel like that's the dopest he's ever been. That first round against Real Sick was the best stuff he ever spit. And that third round against Snake Eyes. Other than that, I really not rocking with stumbles like that. What's your thoughts oh. on this Queen of the Ring prom night announcement with Rock and Caution versus Shuni and Fetty that uh, dropped the night? I love it. It's something different. It's something new for the culture. You know, I like how Debo said, you know, he want everybody, even media, if you're not dressed up, you're not getting in. Oh, that's how they giving it up for this? Yeah, he said he treating it like that. Oh, that's crazy. I like that. Some grown up shit. He said after the event, he got DJs. He got he got celebrities going to be there. He said it's going to be a party after the, after the joint, so... Now, Chrome 23 set that tone for that mature look. I'm not going to lie. I remember in their trailer when they had the guy versus girl, they had everybody dressed up. I remember Av was in the tux and Official was dressed up. So, all right. That's what we doing. Yeah, but, you know, Remy knew to this. Debo is the OG. No matter what anybody say, Debo is the OG of this female battle rap, man. Debo gave you these, these moments. Remy just coming... And then when you see when it's bad, even when it's bad for Debo, Debo is still in front of them cameras. I'm going to give that up to him. He just started his show. Like, he got his little uh, live stream show popping right now. Like You um, went from 23 down bad, Debo don't tuck his tail. I, 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 I give Debo his props on that. So even though Chrome 23 is new, you also got to consider who they got behind them. And again the impact that they had and how everybody put them on that pedestal to me i feel like chrome 23 got a lot of work to do because they've just been I quiet talk with the favoritism either though bro so what can they do now what what can remy do because remy individually is busy but what can that platform do now in the meantime just to be talked about other than these big old cards 
I, a lot of girls, I've heard one thing. Some girls don't like the fact that Remy is so close to Hustle, and Hustle main event in both of the events. Like, you know, they, they don't, and, you know, they said Hustle was getting more money. Like, you know, I, some people don't like that. I think she need to have situations, sm like, she need to have cards that smaller than that, like, cards that, like, Hustle and these top-tier girls wouldn't even be on. Like, she, she need probably, to have... Remember that uh, they was having mic issues that whole night? She had, like, eight battles lined up with all small-tier girls. Well, I'm, I know she had it mixed in, yeah, but, but again... Even the even the venue got to be smaller than that. Like it should be. The, it should it, none of that. It should be small enough where you really don't have no problems like that. It messed her up when she tried to cut height ninety seven out the deal. When she cut, when she cut them out the deal, and she tried to hire the off the street, the street team uh, audio people. That didn't work out for her. And it's a learning curve, like you said. You know what I'm saying. So it's, you know, it's just. Um, you learn from your mistakes, but again, that ain't no excuse, bro. That shit happened earlier this year. I don't blame her because High 97 probably wanted a super cut. Like, they probably wanted, you know, they probably she wanted pockets. She don't need no fucking Hot 97 to get no mic shit, right? Every Look at all these leagues and battles. We don't have that problem with all these leagues. Like, she, it, I don't know what happened at she that event. She got to the culture, bro. She got to tap in. The, she got she to know about a twig she got to know about avocado she got to tap into these people that's that's on her remy got to do her do her homework any thoughts on pat stay any favorite moments you ever had a pat stay they said that his um say he got somebody in custody today i think his funeral might be tomorrow uh peter pat stay i feel like pat stay is next i say next to iron solomon my favorite iron solomon sharon and past day my top three favorite white boy battle rappers and he one of the only few people to be my favorite battle rapper like i feel like past day kind of beat rock but I don't, I don't really like to admit that. So I kind of let, I'll say that and let that go and have you, you carry that. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, what's funny to me. You think I'm going to ask you about or question you about you saying he beat Tay Rock. I want to know why he got to be one of your favorite white rappers. Like what? If he was, if Pat State wasn't white, would would he not be one of your favorite battle rappers? Period. Or was it just was it? No, nah, nah, I was just saying, like, if I was going to rate my my top three favorite white boy battle rappers, it is Iron Solomon, Pat State, and Sean. I mean, it ain't it ain't really no you know like that, but I have a is he is Pat State in my top ten? No. Is is any of them in my top ten? No. But I mean, my top five is Rock, Nitty, Rex, uh You mean all time? Magnus, what's good, G? If you want to come up, you're welcome to come up. I believe the pen is on the link to the top. This is an open panel, y'all can come up. Who are you talking about? You talking about all time, KB? Mm-hmm. You got Nitty in your top five all time. Absolutely. What? Nitty got the most classics out of any battle rapper of all time. Nobody... Tay Rock got the most quotables all time. Nitty got the most classic battles of all time. Tay Rock got the most quotables that you can ever... You know what I'm saying? You should be drug tested. You should be drug tested. You Nitty really gonna sit up here. Classics. You gonna sit up here and say that Grum Nitty has the most classics in battle rap history. Nitty got hella classics. That's true. I'm not debating that. <laughs> I just feel like the whole story is not complete. But okay, I got it. But you've been watching I, this. You've now, been watching this game for a long time, so you know. I'm not gonna try to play you. Even we can go even back to spit that heat. Nitty versus Craig Lamar is a classic. True. 
That's true. That's true. You got a point. But again, we got a lot of battle rappers out there that have put in a lot of work, a lot of pain, that has made a lot of movies. But for you to say that Rum Nitty has done the, the most, I don't know. That quality pain. Nitty got Nitty has the most original bars in the game. I want to show you something before we get up out of here. This was on Twitter. I don't even think you really play Twitter like that. Calico. Oh, I didn't see this. Calico took the Twitter. He said, if, could he win champion of the year with beating Chess, Easy to Block Captain, Charlie Clips, and Fonz all in this span? I did have Cal beating Fonz, and I had Cal 30 in Chess. I don't think – I got Cal beat – I think Cal going to beat Easy. As as summer madness, I feel like I feel like this about Cal. I feel like Calico is the ultimate equalizer in the game. He got the best defense in battle rap too. Calico hmm. is unshaken, no matter like what 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 a nigga say to him. Cal just gonna shake. Cal gonna shake it off, and he gonna spit that realness to you, and he gonna and he gonna get in your face, and he gonna do whatever he gotta do to get you unraveled to win that battle. Cal is the ultimate equalizer. I don't know. I don't know. Easy do. Easy do. Kind of. He kind of took out of Cal book a little bit. Cause easy do that. Get in your face. Talk crazy to you. All that. But Cal is the originator of that. I can't wait for this one. But I got Cal though. I can't never go get Cal in my top ten. Cal might be in my top five. Well, this is the problem. Because we're talking about champion of the year. And every year we have the same problem with the end results, how we came to this decision. So let me ask you, how much of the fan votes weigh, weigh in on the decision of who, who's the champion of the year? I feel like champion of the year is very unfair and biased. So I feel like that's the Geechee Gotti award. Like, Jay Black created a superstar of his award that he created himself. He made Geechee Gotti as big as he is, giving him champion of the year all them years. Some of them years, Geechee won it, and he didn't even deserve it when Geechee was losing battles. So, you it's, know, that's the, that's the Jay Black slash Geechee Gotti award. Like, so, you know, it ain't the, I feel like the fans don't really matter for real. Because, okay. So, because, let's let's say the fans vote don't really hold no real weight no matter what's promoted. Let's just say it's about behind the scenes shit. Is Calico not a fan favorite or a household name enough to get the award? You Do you think I the feel people like that who may Calico. control this shit don't fuck with Calico? Yeah, I feel like they don't give it up to Cal like they supposed to. Cal is a top 10 all-time battle rapper. But we talking no, this year. We talking this year, though. We talking year by year. We ain't. This is not no legacy thing. Cal having a legendary year. This, if Cal, look at the look at the names. If Cal can clip all everybody on this list, he he should. If because all right, think about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you an example. Last year, Surf came in the top five of champion of the year with three battles. Jazz came in a female joint with one. Is behind the scenes in politics. Who rocks with who? Jazz, how does Jazz come in the champ, top five of champ, women champion of the year with one battle and Surf only had three? And it's people out here, Danny Myers out here battling every week, Geechee out here battling every couple weeks, Nitty out here battling every couple weeks, people putting in real pain. But due to popularity and politics, I could somebody could battle two times and come in the top five. That's a war is out here putting in pain. Like you feel me? It's really people out here really doing it at a high level, at a consistent level. And they really like, I don't know. It's a lot of stuff. If, if I could rewrite the rules in battle rap, I really would. It's a lot of stuff that we could talk about for real. But my thing is, okay, because what, game what's going to happen is this. We'll get to the panel. And the resume, you're right. The resume that Calico is displaying for this year, if he's able to win out, would definitely be deserving. 
But what if somebody on a panel say, I'm not giving it to Calico this year because he ain't, he been too quiet. People are going to get mad for that. But I be, I feel that. Calico's never quiet. Calico always active on Twitter. Calico always in the spaces. Calico always got music. Calico never quiet. If we I, be honest. I agree. I agree. But I'm talking from, okay, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. So why don't nobody like Calico then? I mean, why doesn't he stand a chance then? They be hating on Cal. I, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Cal is the most hated on legendary battle rapper of all time. Has he ever? Has any of those wounds ever been self inflicted? Like, because I don't remember Cal being the bad guy. So I'm trying to figure out why the media wouldn't push for him to be or win this award if it came down to it. Because Cal beat these niggas' favorites, and they don't like that. Ah, here we go. Here like we go. Like <laughs> here we Cal go. Beat, like when Cal beat, like when Cal beat your favorites, they don't like that. When they be beating, when Cal beat these guys that everybody like, like even when Chess, they talk about Cal thirty Chess, and that shit got swept under the rug. They do not want to talk about that. Who gonna win this two or two battle between Shuni Fetty and Tay Rock and Lady Caution? Rock and Caution thirty. What, boy? Come on, man. This man Rock is the goat, man. Rock could beat Shoney and Fetty by itself. <laughs> you ain't listen. Rock is the goat. We I'm not- the last person that's gonna get on here and argue with you that Tay Rock is not the goat. But you're not disrespectful. You sound right now. Shoney got bodied by Fonz. You think she could stand in front of Rock and say anything to Rock and Shoney be choking? Man, nah. I, she can I'm, stand in front of Caution. Shoney is Shoney is very nice, but Shoney got that that little issue with that choking thing, like you know that choking and stumbling thing. I I always rock with Shoney. Shoney in my top five in of women of all time. That's but, dope. But I just, you know, Shoni always had that that thing with her. With even in the when she was in the Ultimate Madness, Joan, she's choked against Ice. I'm you know how many battles Shuni done had since then, bro? Shuni just had like a couple two on two battles. Like she, I, I want to see that. I want to see that uh that joint with her and Fair and Jazz and Official. They ain't even dropped that yet. You are real app. What are you doing, Bootleg Gang? What are you doing? Hair Farrah battle C3 and uh, Beretta Blaze at Houston that known weekend. That, I think that just came out not too long ago. So Shuni been busy. Caution been busy. Rock Rock is the is that dude. But you saying 30? Rock about to drop another 30 right, right, right before this. He about the 30 swamp. He said he got another big announcement. Who rock? Yep. Said it today on Twitter. Promoting this battle right here. He said, wait till y'all see what my never my next announcement is. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it could be. What's I good, what's it good. Is. I know. Magna, what's good, bro? What's up with it? You like this battle right here? Uh you talking about Shuni the rapper? You feel the and Tony? Yeah, versus Rock and, and Lady Caution. You digging that? Uh, I think Shuni by herself would get Lady Caution all the way the fuck out of here. And then... Um, I agree with that. And then Tay Rock would get Fettuccine too. <laughs> oh, nigga, it won't even be a, that's not even a good battle. Nigga. That's, that's, a bad, that's a bad matchup. Yo, both of y'all need to be drug tested. Yo, what are y'all talking about? This is not no good battle. Are you no, kidding I'm me? About, I'm, hey, talking sure. no, I'm talking about it was one-on-one. I'm talking about it was one-on-one. Get Caution out of there. I agree with that. Shoney will wipe no, no, I'm talking about it. I'm talking about it. Who was one on one? Now, yeah. now them as a team, I don't. I haven't seen Lady Caution and uh Rock together before, like their chemistry and shit. But I can just imagine it is good if they are if they're in a, a relationship and shit. I imagine they got to be a little decent. Wait a hey, minute, I, yo. I know am I am I in the Twilight Zone? 
Shuni and Fetty is married. You talk about relationships with Cuss. No, 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 no. I seen them battle before together. I'm talking about. I never seen Lady Caution and Tay Rock together on the team. I don't know how they're gonna it, be. They, yeah, they've never had that opportunity. This is yeah, yeah. Chance. That's what I'm saying. Like, like I, I can just go by the one on one matchups. Like if it was just one on one, but Fetty Chini Tony and Shuni the rapper. I've seen them battle before together. Right? Haven't they battled before together? They battled each other and against each other. Yeah, they, bat they battled on teams and they battled each other. Yeah, I, I know. I, I, seen it, I seen that battle yeah. on the team before, I believe, and against each other. I think they're gonna be well. I think they're gonna be able to hold their own. Well, hold up. Well, at least tell me this because KB said thirty piece. What? How you call this battle? Um, I think it's gonna be two one. Uh, in favor of Tay Rock and Lady Cushion, because I feel like Tay Rock is gonna be the overwhelming. Uh, talent in that in that battle, but I feel like Shuni is gonna say some shit that's gonna wild the crowd enough to give them around. Like just her, 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 the way she command the room and sort of like control the audience. I feel like she she got a real punch of sense. Like I'm not sure what Fettuccini gonna Tony gonna do in front of Tay Rock. I feel like when Tay Rock start to elevate. It's gonna be hard for Freddie Chini Tony to stand in front of him, cause Tay Rock get in these zones where he just start like he's like he's normally in the second round. He getting in the zone where the motherfuckers start losing the shit. But it's ama it's a it amazes me how comfortable that you feel like caution is going to be able to meet to meet that zone. Like this is a two on two battle, so even the Rock turn up, Lady Caution gonna to have to meet that energy to keep that. That so what if Lady Caution ain't able to keep that up? Then what? I don't think she's gonna be able to keep it up, but I think Tay Rock is so. That's what I said. He's the overwhelming talent in the battle. Period. I feel like this. It, it sounds funny, but I feel like Tay Rock is good enough to beat Fettuccine no, Twenty and no, 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 no. and Shuni damn near by himself. Thank you. I, I knew you. Were I just say said it. that. Hey, we just said that crap. So yeah, like damn, he good enough to beat them damn near by himself. Like to be honest with you, that's the most like, disrespectful you gotta, you gotta thing I've ever heard. is one of them. He's one of the ones, man. It take a real elite talent to be Tay Rock, bro. Bro, <clears throat> Tay Rock right, is my you. favorite battle rapper ever, yo. But for you to sit up here and say that he alone could beat Shuni and Fetty on some two on one shit, y'all so hey. out of pocket, yo. I think I know. Oh, man. That I mean, you just gotta look it at the too. dynamics of the situation, though. You gotta look at the dynamics of that. Cause I feel like it's it's like the writing is on the wall. The moment that Lady Caution start to lose steam in the bottom and she not carrying her weight, you are gonna see Tay Rock pick that shit up and he's gonna be a whole nother level. Like to me, shit. Well, I don't know. I ain't even gonna go that far off page. I ain't even gonna go there. Never mind. Who running female battle rap right now? And who was it go this year? Big six. No, I mean as a league, as a league. What league is really running female battle rap right now? You are real. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you gotta say that. I mean, you even though Chrome Twenty Three had a, a drop the ball, uh, they probably still running it necessarily. Like, I mean, just not necessarily, but like basically, I feel like they still sort of in the league this year. But I thought you was talking about far as like the Wody or. The, the woman's champion of the year type situation. No, I'm talking was, about as far as a league because I feel like this particular event and announcement from Queen of the Ring could really change the guard. Like when Remy Ma really hit the scene, it was like some old crone about to say female battle rap. Queen of the Ring is done. Like this shit right here. Put them because, back in, in because, the fourth because, because when you think about it, bro. We don't have microphone issues and shit like technical issues with no Queen of the Ring battles, and 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 niggas don't go on them platforms and and play. Yeah, but at the same time, how often do you see Queen of the Ring do events as big as that's what the, Chrome Twenty Three but, Twenty Three but to try to do? That's the you know problem. I mean? That's the problem. We don't see Queen of the Ring booking enough battles. Like that's their problem. They not booking enough battles. But when yeah, they it's a lot of, when they it's book a lot the events. Of they don't have no technical problems and shit like that. So you That's know a lot this of new females around too, man. They they gotta oh, get yeah. it. 
But that's what I'm saying. Them. Yo, Remy should be doing something right now. Like small, like on some we go hard, she go hard types of cards. Like Remy don't have to do these big hot 97 events every time she do a card. No, she, she not, don't. She I miss I miss small rooms like that too, man. I like I don't like just all these major battles being on the on these like like on big stages all the time. Sometimes it's cool for the fans to see that shit. But certain shit you want to just see like a real dog fight, like some classic shit. To me, small room battles is where it's at. But like, I thought I mean? Remy, I thought that was Remy's whole purpose of coming here was to help expose some of the girls that wasn't being seen. Remy did two yeah. cards and pretty much got the same people that everybody been seeing, yo. Yeah, I mean, but at the same time, she needs to get the star power to sell the cards. I feel like once Remy that's probably that. like a long term goal. That's probably her long term goal, like to to start, you know, uh, grooming the young talent and the females and shit. But I feel like at first, like her first goal is probably just to establish her league and her brand, and then after that, she probably gonna start grooming the females more. That's what I would think. And once she, do you think like she's doing a good job her, with that? Oh, is KB is she doing a good job with that? KB it, is is. What report card grade KV would you give Chrome Twenty Three for this year? A D. You see what I'm saying? Like it's it's how a many lot events of a... did she have this year? It was just two, or was that last year? One event was last year, and one was this year. Might have been one this year, and the first one was last year. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, shit. If it was just one this year, yeah, she she in the D, but if overall. Like if, if we grading it all together, I'll probably give it like a B minus, man. I think that first event was pretty good. Yeah, the yeah. first event was good. The second event was yeah. horrible. But yeah, he but had you know, you gotta, businesses go down. through that shit though. Bitches, businesses go through that shit though. Like you know what I'm saying? She she's not in the she's not in battle rap enough to know all of like the hiccups and shit. Like when when caffeine first started with with uh, URL, man, it was a lot of problems. It was a whole lot of problems. And URL is an established league. They know all the ups and downs on a lot of this shit. I mean, but you know, when removing like avocado out of those situations and putting the ball in the caffeine court, there was a lot of issues that URL went through them first couple times they fucked with caffeine. I'm but not faulting was, Remy. I'm not faulting Remy for going through growing pains at all. But it yeah, don't take like, you. It don't take you seven to eight months for microphone issues. Like yo, Remy, if, if you are coming into female battle rap to help bring exposure to all these other younger girls or newer girls that are not being seen like that, you should be doing something else. Like the the events that we had, the newest, like she had Prestavia on, but everybody else was well known. I and mean, you what, are you are talking they, about an established like, artist as well, man. There ain't no telling how busy her schedule is. I, but again, she chose the. I don't see. I'm different, man. And and Remy has been busy this week. I seen seen in the news and all that this week. But she signed up for this. Nobody made Remy but uh, forced her to be no league owner. She signed up for this. She asked for this. So she there's was, an expectation that's, that's behind cash, that. That's a cash grab for her. She was trying to get a little little cash grab. She wasn't getting a return on her investment, and she tucked her tail. Well, so wait a minute, wait a minute. No, I don't think that is. Hey, you saying Remy's a culture like, vulture, bro? That's what you're saying? No, no, no. I don't. I, I won't even put that on her. I want to say, say that. I need KB to answer. Culture, but I feel KB, like is Remy a culture I'm vulture? Probably, KB? Thought it would be. I'm not saying she a culture vulture. It's not. I feel like she not feel like she not getting a return in her investment. That like she had, had pictured it to be. I'm not saying she a vulture because she came from this. Thank you. I was about to say. I was about to. I was about to get on. I was. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you to to not clean that up. Nah, I wasn't. No, I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't saying that. I'm saying, but she feel like I probably she Remy probably don't need battle rap anyway. So she probably you know after that second event and you know the backlash she got from it, you know she probably not feeling it right now. Magnus, what you think about Calico and the champion of the year shit? I think Cal, if he beat, if he beat uh, Easy and Clips for sure, he 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 should be champion of the year. It's between him and Danny in my book, and probably A Ward like third or fourth. 
Damn. But I like see the, the thing is Cal, oh, clip. What'd you say? Cal not beating clips. Ah shit, you don't know that, man. It's hard to say that shit. It's hard to say that shit. Hey, these vets, bro, when they match, when the vets match up with each other, it's different shit that be coming up. That's It'd be true. like, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, Calico probably see something in Clips where you feel like, nigga, well, I, I'll get you up out of here, bro. I, Clips is just, he 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 on a different level. He's really like a god tier talent. You got certain people who, who god tiers with this shit, but I feel like Calico in his own right is damn near ascending to like a god tier type thing. Like I feel like he's really becoming like the pinnacle of like uh Detroit, like on another level. I feel like it's gonna bleed more uh, like I, into I, his I, real life uh, outside uh, of battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. This battle should have been like, happening. Like we should have been seeing this. Who what him and easy? I mean him and clips. Yeah, I've I've been one of the, like this is a bucket list battle for me. I've I've been wanting to see Cal versus Clips. That's a good it's a good matchup, man. That's a good matchup. But see, you like the rock my favorite, but Clips is not number two. I fuck with Calico. Calico down there might be in my top five. He in Did my Nitty be Award? Hell yeah, Nitty two one clear to me, man. It's so many fucking double entendres and shit. Niggas ain't caught on that shit, man. I was catching shit, nigga, and nobody talking about that shit. I'm like, nigga. Just get a war round of the year. First round, that was, man, was bombing on a war, punching war head. He on. got first first round was about round of the year? That, that now, that third, that third round for a war was fire. Like, to me, man, like, I don't know. I would, it would come off as a, like a hater type thing for me. Like, if I, if, when I speak this shit, because I'm going to tell you some real shit. If you're watching the battles, bro, it looked like A Ward packed the beginning of his rounds real good. Like they his the first like minute of each round of A, a Ward's is like phenomenal. And then going towards like the, the middle of his rounds, it's a lot of dead spots, bro. It's a lot of dry moments, my nigga. It's a lot of dry spots. It was a lot of shit flowing on flat. And then he'll hit like a bar or two. And then he'll have like a little flurry at the end of the round. Like, you know what I'm saying? But if you looking at it, Rum Nitty, it was just punch, 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 scheme, punch, scheme. It was the whole, every round, it was like nonstop action. Even in the beginning of the second round, it was a whole R&B scheme. Niggas didn't even catch. It was a, and, and it with a double entendre. Niggas didn't even bro, catch oh, this shit. The double A scheme in the first round. Bro. That was crazy, bro. That, that was crazy. Fucking sports that was reference was niggas, niggas didn't even want to care. Niggas was trying to say the rebuttal to the Chardonnay bar was better than Chardonnay bar. I'm like, nigga, nah, fuck are you talking nah, about? And then, nah. and then I feel like people give points on A Ward rebuttals. Like, you know what I'm saying? They put extra yeah, points real on the rebuttal. rebuttal. Heavy. First, that, that's he, he, they put extra points rebuttals. on his rebuttals. It's cool that you can freestyle and you can rebuttal, but if you're breaking down the intricacies of his rebuttal and what he's actually saying, that naysayer shit was simple as fuck, bro. He the white super. chef friend. That shit was super simple. It's dope in the moment, but I can't give you that many points on something that simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, right. all right, boom, punch. That's good. Rebuttal, yeah, probably two points. Like it's they. I feel like they grade a word on his ability a lot, not necessarily what he's saying. His ability and skill set is through the roof. He's a guy to talent. I feel like as well. I feel like when a a word really gets to where he needs to be as a battle rapper or get like a little more polished, he's gonna be like extremely hard to stop. He's already hard to stop now, but I feel like um they really grade him more on the curve. It feel like. They move the goalposts for who they want to move the goalposts for. So I feel like they, this. I feel like they move the goalposts for a word a lot. So the, I the feel story, like the, let me ask you this: the storyline was URL really didn't want this battle to happen because of a word was to win. That helps his stock and his argument of not having really to follow that protocol to be on URL. Do you feel like the URL lost some stock? After this battle, or did they still got the same leverage on a ward? Anytime um, you give the culture a battle they need in another league, gotta do it, they lose stock. Mm. They, I feel like it's a that you the NBA they, supposed to buy us that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I feel like they, uh, I feel like the URL. They, they lost stock in the, to a degree, but I feel like A Ward won and lost that battle. He proved the point. Like he can stand in, he can stand in the ring with just about anybody. That's gonna be the, the one of the biggest, the hardest people for him to ever battle, bro. It was what he just faced. It's not gonna really be too much. The battle of the year happened not on URL. Yeah, yeah, shit. That give if anybody winning off that shit, that's Gitchy. Gitchy just picked up a, a, a big uh move with that. That make the riot look crazy. But I, we ain't got Cassidy versus Freeway yet, so y'all need to relax. Once that dropped, then you know <laughs> what I mean. We gonna have a <laughs> nobody, ain't nobody no, checking for that first. shit. <laughs> ain't nobody <laughs> checking for that shit, man. Now that killed everything. I, man, man, I ain't even want to hear that shit from the jump. Nigga, that first battle was enough a long time ago. Like, yeah, that's cool. Like, nobody really want to revisit that shit. We might as well, nigga, put Lux versus Mook number three on that same fucking court, nigga. Might as well. I've been uh, asking for the trilogy to keep it real. I ain't even going to hold you. I've been wanting to see the trilogy. Nah, the only the only battle that deserve a trilogy in battle rap is Rock versus Clips. Oh, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah, that's a trilogy. That's a trilogy, too. Um, nah, I, think, I, think, I think I think Surf Calico gonna have to run that back one day too, man. Cause Cal whooped Surf ass that first battle. Yeah, it was like bad, that. nigga. He was bad, bro. He dog off that nigga that first battle, and, and and Surf got his lick back. But to me, he won that two one. So if we grading on, if we grading off rounds, nigga, Calico's still up four four three, nigga, or four two. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> like we grading all rounds, Calico up four too. Like, um, I, shit, I don't know. I feel like uh, A Ward proved that he can stand in in, in, the, in the ring with anybody though, and that that's a good thing. He proved that he he belonged here for sure. I'm not the hugest like fan of a lot of that Christian stuff because to me, like I grew up with a spiritual background. It don't make sense to be out there talking about soccer niggas and. Shooting motherfuckers and then saying my good is, my God is good, but you just talk to the The last is war, bro. Yeah, if your God is that good, you're not shooting at people and punching niggas. Like I mean, you can defend yourself, yeah, but you, the way you're talking about it is you're attacking people, bro. Yeah, war lost <laughs> battle. Like, like you get know what I'm saying? I really wanted to see now the the battle. I feel like if uh URL wants to really challenge a war. I don't know why I feel like it's a tougher matchup for him, but I feel like Chess versus A Ward is gonna be a problem for A Ward. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but Chess got it's like you say a nigga on Demon Time, he on Demon Time with all the horsemen, bro. He got Saga and he got Loso the fuck up out of here. It was bad for both them niggas, bro. He dog on both of them. Him was smoke A Ward. Who? A uh, chess on ten with smoke a ward. It uh, depends on the setting. A ward, a ward, been winning because of the setting of his battles a lot of times. I'm not saying that he's not in a dangerous setting or anything like that. But you gotta understand, like if you're battling Charlie Clips, nigga, on an RBE league or one of these white or you know like uh, KODT or something like that, you battling people that's Vets on those type of audience with those type of audiences, you're not really battling them in a, a setting where yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna benefit the battle to me because they looking for particular things like KODT and all these other little leagues and shit. They listening for motis and shit like that. They're not paying attention to they're not paying attention, I feel like, to more the you know, the street element and shit that we pay attention to. Like to me, it's a lot of shit that come along with, with just rapping. Believability, I feel like, is so much of a thing with us because we want to hear people come from a place and it don't sound like they forcing what they're talking about. It seems like they just they know what they they they've been through and they just spilling everything right in front of you while they while they rapping. I feel like A Four loses a lot of his credibility going towards a more urban audience. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like you're talking about niggas who gang banging and shit or doing this, this and that. In the audience where everybody think that's okay, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, of course, nigga. You, if we're talking about um, violent activities, could beat a lot of people on the big stage. Oh, I but think I, you would. I, I, I think everybody get a lot of people about it here on the big stage. 
stage though. Like Danny Myers can't beat a lot of people on a big stage. Like if Danny Myers battled Tay Rock on the big stage, he would have got thirty. I don't think so. Like, Danny Myers I think, got I think, I think, I think Danny Myers. I think first of all, Danny Myers thirty Tay Rock. And we talking? Oh, stop it. He's 30 no, Tay Rock, bro. Just stop. He's 30 Tay Rock. He's 30 Tay Rock, bro. He's 30 Tay Rock. It's on the app. All that shit, bro. It's, it, look, he's 30 Tay Rock. He won every single round. Battle rapper. It wasn't a body. He 30 them, though. And Did you just it. say that he bodied Tay Rock? I didn't say it wasn't. I just said it wasn't a body. He 30 them, though. Body rock. Okay. I didn't say he bodied him. He I didn't say he bodied him. It was a 30. It was a 30. The okay. second round was the closest round. Okay, Danny got 30 by Ab on a big stage. And no, everybody swept that under the rug. Ab bodied Danny Myers. Danny, nah, he Danny, didn't body. Yeah, he did. Because Danny... No, that wasn't a body, Danny's bro. That wasn't a, that wasn't a body, bro. You tripping. That wasn't a body. Neither one of those bodies was bodies. If you say 30... I, I don't even know if it was a 30. I got to revisit that. But I watched the day... Like, I watched the... um. The Danny versus Tay Rock battle enough to have seen that Danny clearly beat that nigga, bro. Yeah, every round he beat him. If it's on a big stage, Rock would have body Danny. Nah, I don't think so. And you know why? I think, you know why I don't think so? I feel like I feel like that was a light Tay Rock. I feel like Tay Rock didn't really care too much about that battle after that. Like I don't feel like that wasn't Tay Rock that was at his at his A game. You know what I'm saying? That was like a that was a light work. Taylor, like you know when niggas is sort of like mailing that shit in a little bit. That first round, Tay Rock was sort of like he got his foot off the gas. Then he seen what Danny was doing, and he tried to turn up. But I felt like it was too much momentum on Danny's side at that time. That battle meant a lot much more to Danny than it did Tay Rock. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't feel like Tay Rock would have had thirty of him on a on a um uh, on a big stage. You gotta think like when niggas is is comfortable, cause it's hard to shake that feeling, bro. I didn't think you know niggas get money and shit. Niggas relaxing. This nigga Danny Myers, every time he step out, he trying to he trying to make a name for himself and feel like like he still got that chip on his shoulder, cuz. See, he do give effort. I just feel like he better in a small room because Danny his bars don't as as well. And I feel like he stay on like when he get on like a certain like an angle or or a scheme or something. Sometimes he stay on it too long. Like, wasn't that a big lost. stage when they was in? Uh, wasn't that like a big stage room when they was in uh in Oakland not too long ago? And then he smoked like he went the fuck off in there. Him and Ek went off in there. That was sort of like a bigger room, bro. That wasn't like it was a stage. It looked like it probably was at least fifteen hundred people or more in that bitch. Like just like just the same reason I'm talking about Dame Myers. Same reason I think JC not gonna be served because JC not going JC on a big stage. The JC's best big stage battle is against DNA. Sir, I don't know though, bro. Tell you right, like this, show. I don't know because, like, I was listening to a lot of shit that Sir was saying about JC and everything. Right, talking about how a nigga don't really be aiming at niggas, like taking it, you know, taking out his target and attacking. He be making random punchlines and double entendres and shit. But when I was listening, I was listening to uh, JC versus Iron Solomon, bro. When JC sort of locked on to his opponent, my nigga, he is he's very lethal. My nigga, he he's very lethal with this shit. It's a, it's another <laughs> level. Big stage, I'm not sure how much it's gonna play into the factor. I mean, I feel like a lot of people want to see JC win, so that underdog <laughs> element is gonna push him. <laughs> He got more star power than JC, taller than JC. Cause you gonna be standing over him, like surfing yeah, on a lot. Yeah, all that, all that shit make all of that shit is good. Yeah, that's good. But two things you can't take away from that situation is I don't think in no way, shape, or form is Surf gonna out rap JC. Like far as bars, he's not gonna out rap JC. I oh, highly so doubt this. Shit. When you battle in Surf, you gotta do more than just rap, niggas. Yeah, I, under, I, I understand that. I understand all that. I understand all that. You be you Y'all niggas don't even give JC a chance to win this battle with some. No, 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 I didn't like, say that. I didn't say that at all. I didn't say that at all. Get, I think JC. I think JC got a chance to win. I serve two one. 
Cleveland. No, I think JC got. I think JC got a, a, a super sneaky uh, punching chance for one of these things because he's quiet too, man. Surf is one of the type of niggas who's spinning the network multiple, multiple times. See, one thing people don't be thinking about too is Surf already sort of cashed in. Like it, it, I felt like he knew he was going. Uh, he know he was going to battle JC, right? He was talking stupid shit about, oh, yeah, I'm going to fuck JC up and this, is and that. I'm about to kill his nigga. Then he started recanting certain the cities, certain some of the stuff he was saying, like, yeah. Like, you know what, man? Yeah, you know, I'm show and prove, yo. I got to show and prove now, yo. He battle surfing yeah, his yeah. element. But, but the narrative, the narrative. This some amazing. No, but the narrative, he started changing the narrative himself. That let me know that surf is a little nervous about this one, man. He started changing shit like you know win lose or draw they gonna they gonna still pay me you know even if start going there and lose nigga they coming to see the show the shit the, t- the tickets already sold he started talking like this like all right now he now he basically saying like he got good material but I don't think he fully comfortable on this material as far as what if he's gonna beat JC or not I feel like he's sort of worried about what JC got I feel like JC got an anger or two like something he been sort of in the dirt lately bro. He been doing some some distasteful shit, my nigga. Like, surf? you know what I'm saying? Yeah, surf been doing some weird shit. That whole like you can say the midnight madness shit ain't that big of a deal, bro. But for niggas to be standing with you and help you put some shit together, then every time you get an opportunity, my nigga, you throwing these niggas up under the bus, or you came in, or you taking credit for almost everything that you're doing. That's an angle, bro, and that's a big angle. And people seen all of this shit happening. Yeah, public. man. Who's gonna start doing this, start attack, attacking that type of shit. People seen this happen in public, and if you realize what was going on when all this shit was happening on Twitter, nigga stopped fucking with Surf for a minute, bro. He disappeared and came back, and then start talking about battle rap and how he about to kill JC. So I mean, I feel like it's a lot of shit that's if a nigga is a tactician, and I feel like JC is he's very tactical with his approach. I feel like he got some shit up his sleeve for Surf. And so ain't gonna be able to do nothing about it, bro. But angles ain't really JC's thing. JC not an angler. You can say that shit. When something is laying right in front of your face, my nigga, you can say that shit. <laughs> There's a lot of shit that's that's laying right in front of his face about sir. Lee the boss made a good that? point. Yo, JC been on summer madness a few times already. Like he got the experience on that. He ain't never main evented nothing before. He that don't made- that don't really matter too much. It's not that don't really matter too much, bro. Niggas is put extra shit on that shit, bro. It don't matter too much. I know what he mean by far as like that electricity late in the night. You gotta have energy. This is the and all biggest that shit. battle of JC's life. This is the biggest battle of his career right here. You right think now? so? Yeah. This this surf nigga, this the biggest battle of his career, bro. <laughs> we not we not playing. We not come on. We keep it in the band. You like, must clearly be a you must clearly be a surf fan. No bro. nigga that he can battle. The only nigga he can battle bigger than surf right now is Lux. True, that's true, yo. That's this true. The biggest yo. battle of JC career right now. This is this is uh this is sink or swim. This survive or die for JC. This way he worked. This nigga work. This so, nigga work. So, but look, but look, but look, look. Listen, listen to what you're saying, though. That just give that nigga much, that much more energy to go in there and do what the fuck he got to do. If a nigga know that his back against the wall, he gonna come out punching harder, my nigga. He gonna come out doing more shit. You saying that he's not able to to win the battle? Oh, he don't take, uh, he don't take fucking um angles and shit. All right, this is a perfect reason for this nigga to take an angle and pull out some new tricks. Oh, y'all niggas wasn't expecting me to do this. I'm about to turn the fuck up. Like, bro, you come, think come Surf on, don't got no pen? You think Surf don't? No, I'm not saying he don't got no chance. Hey, but when hey, it, hey, I'm not hey, saying he ain't got hey, no hey, chance. Hey, but check this out: Surf biggest, Surf biggest attribute is his command over his audience and his people. My nigga, he controls the narrative of what's going on right now. Right? What I'm saying is, JC can easily strip the power from him by just pointing out shit that's real that really happened. That's why I look. If you ever, I don't know if y'all seen that interview when they was asking Murder Mook, did Sir want to uh, about that Sir battle? And then Sir uh, Murder Mook was like, "Oh nah, he don't want to battle me right now." Yeah, I kill Murder, I kill Sir right now. Murder Mook said this shit because he know, nigga, he know it's like this is a time, a point in time where it, all right, JC is the immediate next 
battle after the, all of this bullshit that Surf did. If he point this shit out the right way, it's going to be a long night for Surf, bro. And he can turn the audience against Surf real quick, bro. bro. I don't care how many people was there for Surf. It just it's niggas, it, niggas, if they see real shit, they see real shit. Sue Surf stood in front of one of the toughest rounds of all time and still beat the nigga. That Asia <laughs> Dean shit that Kate Sean spit to that nigga in that first round, bruh, and Surf Surf still beat that nigga, bruh, man, it ain't nothing JC could say to that man. That's a lot of shit, bro. It's good. No, it's different. It's different, though, when, when you're thinking about it from a standpoint of punchlines. I'm talking about real shit that niggas have seen this nigga do. It's, that's that's like, okay, it's, it's one thing where it's like, all right, I rap better than you. Nigga, I got more double times and more doubles than, than you, nigga. I can meta Our metaphors is way better than yours. My flow is better than yours. All right, that's one thing. But when a nigga is assassinating your character, everybody else around you looking at that shit and looking at it like, damn, you know what? That shit real. It fuck you up, bro. It, like, it, it hit you hard. Like, to me, that shit, with, when Danny Myers was talking to Tay Rock and he was telling that nigga, like, like, nigga, serve your nigga, but he ain't put you on none of these songs. He done been with all that. That shit hit, nigga. Don't you think these niggas think about that shit? But this could have been the same shit. shit. There could have been the same <laughs> argument that you had for John John. It could have been the same thing, though, because Surf used no, to always no, go no, at John no, John and no, throw no, John no, John 50,000 no. times. And then John John finally got the opportunity. And what happened? Like, no, yeah, no, no, no. But, but check it, 7 7. Um, check it. 7 7. Girl, check this. A lot of this shit happened after the John John battle. It was a gang of dirt that got on on Surf name after that John John battle, bro. And I know for sure if it would have happened before, like all that Midnight Madness bullshit that fell out and all this shit, if that would have took place before the John John battle, I guarantee you John John would have used that shit. And John John would have had an angle that would have stuck in that motherfucking room. But you saying it like he ain't, like John John ain't have enough content to go at Surf. Just the trolling alone, he had enough to go at Surf. He just wasn't better than Surf. That's surf all I'm saying. 30, John. Uh, just like he about the BJC, he about the BJC clearly, and I rock with JC. But JC, not man, this is this the biggest battle. It, all JC got to do just make it look, just make it close, and it's a win for JC. Surf could talk about JC looking like a city trends mannequin for the last twelve years. <laughs> yeah, but see, you talking about you talking about like surface level shit. I'm talking about shit that's gonna make everybody in your background look at you like, yeah, nigga, you did do that shit, bro. And niggas can't. It's like if you do some fucked up shit, bro. And, and other niggas, I don't know. Just me being a real nigga. Once you once you get like dirt on your name, it's hard to sort of defame that. Cause it's hard. To, it's Surf, hard to, to take that the stain off your name, like, my nigga. Like Balenciaga, on, you look like you shop at kids for less. Like, yeah, but you talking? You talk? I don't give a fuck if I got on a white tee, nigga, and some motherfucking. Jordan's jeans, nigga, and some sketchers, cuz if a nigga is telling you some real shit that everybody just seen, nigga, it's, it's sort of hard to be like, hey, bro, nigga, you, you, you move like a bitch, my nigga, you just did this, you did that. And, and the nigga pointing out the situations and showing you how you move like a bitch. How can everybody, a nigga do that? Everybody point out surf real shit, the Asia D shit, the surf getting shot shit, the, the midnight no, man. But, everybody talking yeah, about but, surf. But, but surf. Look, 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 the difference between that shit. And the, and the shit that happens, like, all right, that's, that's Surf getting the shot shit. That didn't happen in front of everybody, bro. This is all speculation. Nobody's seen the shit that he was doing that took place that made him get shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about him being in the midst. Nigga, you done had a follow with your niggas that you was just building with. Who went in this? Huh? Who went in this battle right here, though? What about this one? The GOAT 30. Rock 30, man. Oh. Got a Swamp, swamp. I don't know. It's hard to bet against Swamp right now, okay? KB. Swamp got that special. He got that oh, special. He got something special on him right now, okay? Let me ask you this, KB, because this shit was supposed to happen here in Baltimore before, like I last know, year, two years ago. If it would have happened back then, do you think that the results would have been different? It would have been a body. I still, I still would have had Rock 30. I would have had Rock with a body over swamp. Right now, I don't feel I don't see it happening, bro. And it's, I don't really feel like I feel like swamp is going. I'll go ahead. What'd you say, KB? 
Nobody be more pre- like Rock's preparation is going to is what separate Swamp for, like levels above Swamp. Rock, Rock preparation is going to win this battle because Rock already said he done writing for Swamp like a week ago. Like Swamp be ch- like Swamp got to the finals of Midnight Madness choking in a one one round per battle. Swamp choked against every opponent and still made it to the finals. Don't know how. But Swamp got a choking problem, man. Even when he, he like, even the battle he won it. Like, remember, he won the T Top real bad. Choked against T Top. And the people had him winning against T Top, too, though. And the reason being is because Swamp is a substance filled rapper, bro. So Swamp, Swamp gonna say a lot more shit than, than Tay Rock gonna say. I feel like Tay Rock gonna punch that nigga head off. But I feel like Swamp is gonna say shit that's gonna, that's gonna resonate with the audience different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm gonna keep it real, yo. I'll be agreeing. If you don't come in there on no training shit, well, I hope you don't come in there on no training shit. I'd be like, agreeing with y'all final results, but the the way y'all be coming up with y'all conclusions be blowing my mind, bro. Y'all have no yeah. respect for Swamp at all. I said Swamp is something still. Nigga, we like Swamp what? Like seven, you know that's the truth. Swamp, Swamp is substance feel like a motherfucker. I feel like Swamp says real shit that resonate with the people. He says shit that's visual. He says stuff that's like, it almost puts you in a scenario with the nigga, and then he hits you with some shit. And then he'd be like, oh, nigga, I was fired. You know what I'm saying? Like, Swamp got him being sort of close to his hometown, too, in South Carolina. I know they in North Carolina, but South Carolina, I feel like he gonna have a lot of favor. No and matter what Swamp too. say, Rock could say one super fire haymaker, shake the room on Swamp, and everybody forget what Swamp just said. I don't feel like Swamp got those type of rounds, though. I feel like what? Swamp got rounds. No, I'm saying I feel like Swamp got rounds that you're going to remember a lot of shit that he said. He I don't got like them Swamp... rounds that hit like a Tay Rock round. Like nah, round... it's not, it's not going to. But see, Crazy. the difference is this. The difference is this. Swamp going to say some shit that you feel. It's gonna resonate with you. Well, whoa, 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 hold up, Magnum. What you mean the difference it, is this? So Rock ain't Rock ain't gonna say nothing niggas gonna feel. No, nah, it's different, bro. Like what? Like all right, like that's the same element with like Easy and and Geechee. That's an element that only certain rappers got. Easy, Geechee, Calico. You you probably gonna get like you not I, putting like, Tay Rock in that circle in that situation. Not you not Tay putting Rock the Gumball King in that. Bro. He ain't got that to me. He ain't oh saying no God. shit like. Uh, oh my God! This is the gumball he ain't saying no shit like. He ain't saying no shit like no. Uh, oh, you know, man, I, I'm calling. That's so nigga. disrespectful, yo. He, he, he not that type of rapper to me though. He, he's a punchline nigga, cause like he got bars like a motherfucker. Like I'm not taking anything from Tay Rock. It's just different attributes. I wouldn't put him in the in the attributes with like like he don't got the same like. And we're going by 2K character builds, nigga. All these niggas got the same attributes, girl. Like to me, it's in that it's in a different way. Like, nigga, um, fucking calico, easy, fucking um, swamp. I feel like all them niggas is sort of like different variations of each other. They from different areas, but it's just like, nigga, I didn't been in the streets, I didn't sold drugs. I know what you're talking about because I can feel what you're saying. You you explaining this shit in a way where it's it's like, nigga, I can feel that you've been in this shit with me, my nigga. I don't feel like Tay Rock give you that because Tay Rock is more of the type of person who just he's rapping, man. He's rapping. He's not telling you like stories and shit. KB, like, I gotta ask you this. Hold, hold, hold up, man. Let me ask you this, KB. What you talking about? I've been. I was in the trap, nigga, with this, this, and this happening. He's not telling you all that shit. Tay Rock is like, nigga. Let me ask you this, KB. <laughs> like the Le- leader boss. Leader boss says Swamp is not ready for this biggest stage versus Rock. We watch Swamp battle Casey J. We watch Swamp get the T top battle. We watch Swamp go through a whole tournament to the finals. Is this Swamp biggest battle though? This For is sure. biggest. Battle. Shout out For Lee, sure. man. Shout out Lee County Leader Boss, man. But yeah, this is Rock. Biggest battle. I mean, this is this Rock just doing this for fun. Rock already beat the game already. This is just some this is so? an exhibition for Rock. So but, Swamp, but to be this, honest this with is you, Swamp biggest battle because this this the guy Swamp been chasing for the last what two years. 
he came in the game, won the battle. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure, this is the biggest battle. And I'm not saying that Tay Rock gonna lose this shit. I'm not saying that Tay Rock gonna lose the battle. This is nigga. Biggest battle. No, he's not. Yeah, he is. Tay Rock everybody's biggest battle. I'm gonna I'm I'm give you. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a reason why I said that. Tay Rock is the reason legends come back to battle. When they when the legends was coming back and they wanted to give this a go again, who was they calling out? They wasn't yeah, calling, calling Clips, out nobody. Else. Daylight. Um, who? And seven, move, tell them who they were coming back for. Disaster won battle. Tay Rock. Disaster. Yeah, you're right, yo. You're right, yo. Past, you're right, yo. Every, I thought, I'm thinking Lux. When you, I'm thinking Lux in the niggas. When you, when you say that, I'm thinking Lux. Burb I'm like Lux ain't never about all this bullet. Burb said his resume was not going to be complete without a tape. Without a tape rock battle. battle. That's a fact. Yeah, but I don't think that was his biggest battle. It's a, it's a necessary battle. It's not his biggest battle. That wasn't Burb's biggest battle. It's a necessary Every battle for sure. Nobody um, resume in battle rap legit if they don't battle tape rock. I can't say that either, bro. If anybody retired from battle rap and they ain't battle rock, their resume is not legit. No, you can't stop it. You can't KB. say that shit. You tripping, KB, bro. stop it. So Bill Collector, Bill Collector resume ain't solidified? Bill won a battle, Tay Rock. Because Bill know. A Ward won a battle. Just call Tay Rock out. Because A Ward know. Every bro. No, People know. Tay Rock called out A Ward, bro. Tell Rock called out A Ward. Been Rock been around. Ab is, I mean, as long as Rock been around, Rock is still being the most chased battle rapper. Everybody want to battle Rock and Sir. Nobody want to battle. Nobody even chasing Lux and Mook no more. They want to battle Rock and Sir. Not really. Let's keep it a band. That's the truth. Nigga, nigga, nigga still, nigga, you tripping, bro? Niggas, niggas still trying to battle Lux and Mook, nigga. It's just the niggas that's in there. You, you looking at it from a perspective of the newer niggas coming into the league. Or into the, the game, game bro. Is pain. but I niggas like, don't need Lux and Mook battles no more to solidify their resumes no more. That that definitely has changed. I don't they, think they're they they not, the the they not the end up. game. They not. The I don't end think that was ever to solidify a nigga resume. I oh feel yeah, like it was. was more, no, no, no. I feel like that was more of like when a nigga say the end game. That's like I beat the game. If I want to retire, I'm gonna go go. No, that was niggas. that. That was that. That's why Averb had but a chance. With, but but Averb like being the only is... nigga that be able to battle Mook and Lux, Averb could have fell back. Averb chose to keep battling, but the end game of, used okay, to be it, Lux it, and Mook. Gucci too. That, Gucci can talk, that, chose to still battle. Gucci the kind of the, he kind of an end game now. Who, hey, seven, think about yes. what you just said. I don't think Gucci an end game. Averb said that rock thing after he battled Mook and Lux already. After he battled Mook and Lux, he said he couldn't retire without a Tay Rock battle. That's give more That's credit deep. to Rock. That's deep. That's deep. That's for deep. For sure. Like, I give credit. I think Rock, Rock is one of the ones, sir. And to be honest with you, I think Rock is way better than Surf, to be honest with you. I agree. Y'all niggas got caught. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. I think Rock is way better than Surf. I feel like Rock is really, he I really think Rock is the GOAT. I yeah, Rock is the greatest of all time. He, Rock, Tay Rock, LeBron. I'm putting Tay Rock, LeBron, all in my goat conversations. However you want to come. Well, where y'all? If, if he to go, where y'all putting um, clips? I think clips number is two. about clips. One of the best. He ain't no number clips, two. Number two to me. Rex is my number two because Rex Rex was my goat. My top Rock. five: Rock, Clips, Nitty, Rex, and Calico. This guy said Rum Nitty. That's crazy. Nitty is hey seven. I'm gonna need you to meet your corner, bro. If you keep if you keep hitting me with this uh rub nitty slander, my nigga, you have to delete this channel. I'm bro. not really know. trying to. I'm <laughs> not trying to slander him, <laughs> yo. I, <laughs> you have to delete K, this channel, K-Do's bro. done this. This, this can't be. This can't be. This is battle rap. If you talking like that, yo, bro. you gotta blame K Doe, yo, because he keeps <laughs> doing this to me, yo. So I, every time a West Coast artist come, I feel like I gotta defend the East, yo. Every time one of y'all is mentioned, yo, because see that's the dated. problem. That's the problem with y'all niggas, cause y'all y'all East Coast niggas is gritty, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we got the most yeah. classics. Y'all niggas have no niggas that have battle classic. rap on the East Coast, nigga. For I mean, like, we don't want to give it up, yo. Battle, I've been watching battle we rap niggas for like, fucking years, man. We I want to battle rap. Damn near two years I've been watching battle rap. That's nigga on the East Coast, nigga. Eighteen of them years, cause the moment it comes to the West, all y'all niggas throw a fit. Like, 
<laughs> we cry babies, man. We want our ball back. Yo, it is what it is. All right, fellas, let me get up out of here, man. I'm about to sign off. I appreciate y'all coming through tonight, shit, man. For sure, yeah. man. Salute. Salute, oh, K. I'm ready, man. Man. Salute, K. I'm going to definitely let him know that you asked about him, bro. I'm going to talk to him tomorrow because we got a podcast to do this weekend. So Yeah, I'll be, I'll yeah, be tuning in to y'all podcast. That shit lit, bro. Appreciate it. Yep, I'll be downloading and listening to that shit. Thank you, bro. Appreciate the support. Bye, Happy n- birthday yeah. to Rum Nitty. Lead a boss salute. Bro, appreciate you being in the live chat, chopping it up with us. KB, as always, appreciate you, man. You know, anytime you see me live, y'all welcome to join the open panel and all that good shit. Salute to my brother, my co-host, my partner in crime, K Doze, out with the family right now, man. Y'all know what this is. This is Battle Rap. We're on our road to 1,000 subscribers. We almost said 900, man. We really pushing the needle. So thank you guys so much for y'all's support. Y'all stay safe this weekend. Make sure y'all follow us everywhere on social media. We'll make sure you follow you guys back. Catch y'all next week on This Is Battle Rap, man. I'm out out of here, man. Seven Mitchell. Y'all stay safe. Peace, y'all.